Configuring Application Settings with Dell EMC Repository Manager version 3. After opening Repository Manager, simply go to the down caret and select it. And you'll see that there's a number of areas where you can work on. And we're interested in application preferences. And from here, you can see that you can select your network uh, settings, so the various networking protocols. So if your company has disabled FTP, you can very simple, simple to make sure that it's disabled in Repository Manager as well. Concurrent downloads, and of course, if you're using a proxy server, we make it very easy for you to, to uh, input that information as well. You can set up notifications, and this is where you can get email note notification for ver various activities and tasks that are done within Repository Manager. And if you have not already set up, it's very easy to come over and hit Configure. And you can see that you can do Microsoft Exchange or SMTP and put in all of, all of your credentials, send yourself a test email. And if you wish others to also receive notifications, very easy to just come over and select, select that and input their, their email address. Store. This is where all the updates are stored when you physically download them from the Dell online site to your local lo location, and this is where, where they're lo located at. And so you can see that you can set up things like alerts when uh, a store is getting too uh, big. And one of the key things that you can do is clean up. And what cleanup does is looks inside of all of your repositories and looks at the physical files that have been down, downloaded and deletes all those files that are no longer present in, in any of your repositories, saving you space. Then we can come down to plugins. And plugins are the useful tools that assist you when you're making a Dell deployment tool. So as you can see, bootable ISO. If you're creating a, a scripted deployment pack, then you're going to want to also make sure that you have the Windows and also Linux uh, Dell EMC update packages. And if you're creating a server update utility, you'll want to have, have, have the latest SUU plugin. Note that with Repository Manager version 3, we're only creating 64-bit SUU plug plugins. There's various actions that can be taken. I've set things up so that it automatically downloads new versions when they become available. And they're available from the Dell EMC on a line uh, location. Uh, but we know that there are customers that uh, will download the plugins and store them locally so that many users can, can just download them from, from, their, from a local location and not have to constantly go back and hit, uh, hit Repository Manager and, and the Dell on, on, online site. And then catalogs. And of course, catalogs is where, where Repository Manager gets its information so that it can create repositories and create all the, the, the deployment tools and do no, notifications. So very simple way of, you can see index catalog and enterprise server catalog, which is the deep default. If I wanted to update the index catalog, because you can see that the current version is 11 and the new version is 12, I would just select that and then, then select update. If there's catalogs that I wish to add, 
say I have uh, created a catalog and I now want to share it with, with some of my team members, it's very simple to come in and select add and, and it'll walk you through adding a catalog. And of course we can come up and select update actions and let's just select it so that it automatically downloads and updates new catalogs when they become available for you. And we'll hit apply. So there you have an easy run through of the various preferences that you can uh, set for Dell EMC Repository Manager version 3.